Christmas on a Sunday. <laughs> okay, I'm going to hold you to that, Father Chris. <laughs> <laughs> so, once again, this beautiful, wonderful service in the name of Jesus. We thank you for being present. And we just want to say this is a wonderful time in the day, although we are practicing a form of social distancing, this is a wonderful time for us. So as we begin with the wine and the bread, we want to make absolutely sure that uh, we let you know at our church, the St. Martin's Episcopal Church, the important component is to also offer, do the offering at this time. And so I offer up a scripture, offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving and make good your vow to the most high, to the most high. Give and it shall be given unto you, good measure, pressed down and shaken together and running over. Freely you receive, freely give, for the Lord loves a cheerful giver. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with, and also you. with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God our thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, for our sins, he was lifted up upon the cross, that he might draw the whole world to himself, and by his suffering and death, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who put their trust in him. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, who forever sings this holy this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of all, heaven and earth are filled with Father, in your infinite love, you made us for yourself. And when we had fallen into sin and become subjects of evil and death, you in your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God, Father, and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread and when he gave thanks, 
to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciple, disciples and said, take and eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he gave thanks, he said to them, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mysteries of the faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption of O Father in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling his death and resurrection and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Ghost to be your people, the blood and the body and the blood of your Son, the holy food and the drink of the new and unending life of Him. Sanctify us also that we are made faithful, faithfully receive the holy sacrament and serve you in uni unity consistency and peace and at the last day bring us with all your saints into the joy of eternal of the eternal kingdom all this we ask through your son jesus christ by him and with him and in him in the unity of the holy spirit all honor and glory is yours almighty father now and forever amen and now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, Mother, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And we will take a moment of silence as we think about our holy Christ on this Saturday, Holy Day. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. The gift of God for the people of God Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and fed on and feed on him in your heart by faith with thanksgiving. And at St. Martin's, um, our priests can uh, give um, communion to everyone, to represent everyone, our, our priest father, Christopher Griffin. And so today in his, in his um, place, um, as an honor, I will do that for uh, you today. I will give Kim communion today, and then I will uh, take communion uh, for all of you. I, I will take communion first for all of you, and then give Kim communion. So we will put on a little music, and as you meditate, you know, put your hearts and mind on our Lord, the risen Savior, as we prepare.
continue our ceremony, let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your, your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Amen. Thank you. I appreciate you so much. You all have a wonderful day. We look forward to seeing you at the church, the body of believers, tomorrow for Resurrection Sunday. God bless you. Bless you. Amen. Amen. I forget you.